to see things throughout this match. Here we go. Let's play pickleball. Sign out. High third from Ben. Julian ropes one at the feet of Colin, and we'd like to go ahead and serve now. Please. Yeah, uh, there was no contact with Colin's paddle on that particular put away, and uh, that was Adam's apple high on the drop from Ben Johns. Adam Stone using Adam's apple. <laughs> I love it. Point. See, that is just really good with pace. And we talked about his backhand and him going to the lab and kind of tweaking it. It used to be a weakness, not any longer. Got the new Paddle Tech Paddle and just signed with them. Second serve. <laughs> One zero two. Wow, and a humongous Ernie stretched to the limit and got it down. Yeah, good stuff and athleticism from Alshon. It will not be the first time I say that this match. Wow, that's a lot of power. And I got, I got to got, stop getting my first and last mixed up there. That's why I, 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 I didn't let the first one go. I let that one go. Out. CJ out. yelled out on the prior rally as well. That one does sail out, and Ben doesn't go for that one. So a nice start, Zero, though, three, for one. Christian and Julian here. Just a beautiful you, flick down the middle. Man, the man's got offense from a variety of places. Look for that two-hander off the bounce. Look for the one-hander out of the air. We just saw in a variety of offensive forehands from a variety of positions from Julian Arnold. I'm surprised Julian just didn't wreck that first ball because he does not want to get in a dink battle. Or the second. Yeah. Obviously the first yeah. or the second. I can't believe that was back-to-back -back dinks from him on those first two shots. I mean, that just would have been past me with no contact. And uh, Christian Alshon not only contacts it, but puts it in the dirt for a winner. What a get. And Alshon's there, but that's going to stay wide. And Underrated athlete is Julian Arnold. Oh, the guy can move. Absolutely, he can move. I think in terms of just flat out foot speed and footwork, uh, he's in the top couple of the game. Three, one, two. Okay, uh, not the cleanest two shots from CJ, but it worked. Yeah, so we had a top spin drop shot from Ben on the previous point, and then a, we'll say, we, we won't call it a miss hit from Colin. We'll just say it was a clean drop volley. I'm going to call it a clank. <laughs> Second serve. There's number one. Yeah, Julian likes to get, I mean, this is a very fiery player. Christian depends. One, three, two. And, and we'll keep an eye on that. It's a great load on the forehand for Christian off the up the line roll from Ben. It's obviously one of Ben's best shots and you have to either slide and hit a backhand or load up on the forehand and Christian use the ladder. We'll hmm, say maybe that hit the line, but a uh, very awkward swing and not even close at all on the soft shot attempt from Ben. <laughs> it's 
CJ Second up for serve. the task there, and Arnold was screaming me, me to go hit the third, but guess what? Four, Christian's one, way too big. He got there faster. Side out. Little third shot drive, fifth shot drop attempt from Julian Arnold catches the tape. One, four, Good look one. at the Vulcan V Pro Flight, which is the official ball of the tour. Oh my, scrapped the tougher ones. Yeah, he did, and I like the initial attack. Uh, he's looking for the middle, caught the tape, and then, as you said, dug out a couple, but not the last. Two, four, one. Big Brother scream at Little Brother there to let that go, but some beautiful resets. Downy soft blocks from Colin on the right side of his body with his yeah. backhand, not easy to do. Oh my. Second serve. That misses a serve wide. Period. Three, four, two. Two on Diamos in the crowd. He knows how important, especially against Four, Ben three, and Colin, one. get them behind him. Wow. Ben, I mean, that's unbelievable because Julian's like, he was ready for another on Diamo. Full swing, two handed backhand. Yeah, I agree, but Four, the combinations three, early on point for Mr. Julian yeah. Arnold. Kind of a casual fourth that got just punished. Yeah, they got to get a little pep in their step here from the Johns Five, brothers. Three, Notorious slow starters, but this team is too dangerous for that. Oh, tear. Yeah, uh, almost maybe overran it a bit, looking to get the arm extended, but three, couldn't five, do so. One. I wasn't sure if it hit the tape or hit Colin. It was the tape. It was uh, most definitely the tape. Four, five, one. And CJ was full <laughs> turnaround there, too. This is a perfect example. We talk about it. John's brothers are down. They know they're targeting dinks to Julian, especially his backhand. We are not going to change from that. No, they're not, and they will not. And first semifinal at five apiece. Swat Side from out. Julian there. Yeah, and also up the line. Often he's going to take that middle or across court, but he puts it on the right side of the body of Colin Johns. Very well done. Five, five, one. What a get. Can't get the next one, though. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're basically going to be saying Julian's name a ton yes. because they are targeting him, and they will not stop unless the situation gets very dire. Yeah. 
And inside out for Julian Arnold right there. Got a lot of help off the tape in that rally. Though. That, I, I mean, I can't think of a more ambitious attack than that first <laughs> yeah. one with the two-handed yes. backhand, but ends up finishing the point later. Side out. Yeah, and this is the biggest compliment to Christian Ar or Christian Alshon you can get, which is we're not hitting Five, you the six, ball. One. Yeah, that's yeah, that's just unusual because uh, that's a great shot for Julian. He loves to flip that up the middle, but been waiting and not executing. Yeah, that one sits up, but I, I mean, I even think there's probably some top ten or twelve seated teams that when they're targeting someone the first five minutes of the match might even be by accident or just the game flow. That is not oh. the case when you're playing the Johns brothers. They're doing it for a reason, uh, and you know that that's the situation you're in. Seven, six, two. No, that was in the bullet points that were discussed over breakfast if we play them. Side out. Yeah, a little late on the slide. I mean, I think it's one thing about pulling triggers that are a little unexpected. Six, uh, you get some one. errors, but call him the best slider out yep. there, and he was late on that one. Oh my. He's had two good looks at the backhand on the poach, hasn't made him. Don't be, Six, uh, seven, let me tell you, the freeze out is real. It can affect the player getting frozen out. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's... And there's the, the... CJ doesn't remember the couple that sat up for Ben to demolish. He remembers the negative. And yeah. uh, shoulders went down immediately. So here we go. We're at sevens. We've been watching the top players just flirting with disaster all week. And then... They escape. Yeah, they escape. So uh, what I was touching on what I was saying earlier is Christian hasn't been getting a lot of balls, seven, and that's seven, tough. How, do, do you do you pressure the middle? Do you go for speed ups when you get one, or do you just play solid? Uh, very tough to figure it out. Second serve. Yeah, he's he's going to that one hander nicely. I mean, he's always had it, but he's using it more seven, than seven, normal two. right now uh, as he's been pretty two hand heavy uh, early in his career. Yeah, and controlled, which is nice. Side out. I mean, it's they're, they're that's Ben Johns. So these attacks are legit because he has been where he needed to be and still not put a good paddle on the ball. So great offense from Julian. And just firing away with the two-handed backhand all over the lot. Yeah. Line to Collins, forehand middle. And then he puts it on the left hip of Ben for that Eight, last seven, one. one. All the spots, Julian Arnold. Oh. Yeah, look. That backhand overhead from... Colin Johns looked like he hadn't hit one of those in three years. No. And I think that's because that's, that's the that's case. That's because he doesn't ever <laughs> lean over there. That's, a, that's an nine, overhead seven, for his one. brother. And we are at 9-7, folks. Perfect shot from Ben there. Yeah, right at the left foot. And Julian has been pretty quality from the back of the court yes. and the mid court nine, so seven, far. Two. But that spot too good from Ben Johns. Julian Arnold is everywhere, and he wants you to get on your feet. Woo! I saw that jugular vein, and that is three aggressive fists to the own chest from Julian Arnold. Let's go now. Game point. And it is Christian and unbelievable.
Yeah, I mean, I I was expecting the John's magic to work and, and the, the team to fold. They didn't do it. They kept their foot on the gas the whole time and put an incredible amount of pressure on the one seed. Julian Arnold was the target all game long up to the challenge. Look what we have, a one seed in trouble again here on Humana Championship Court. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Here's, here's my call for game two, Dave. Okay. The Johns brothers change nothing and they win. Okay. That is my call for zero, game zero, two. One. So that backhand dinking of Arnold will be in question again, and Adam says that's going to work. And he has a tattoo to show for. <laughs> yeah, I think it clipped off the paddle right into the upper chest. Took it like a man, though. <laughs> wow. The kitchen sink cam is amazing. Oh, that one gets tagged. So good. Point. And this uh, is where we talk about discipline. 11 7 doesn't feel great, and they're not going to change a thing, as you said. So many teams would change a lot and lose in two. Long-term math. That's Three, what I love about them. It's just, it's just so tough to see the long-term when the short-term is just right in your face. And it takes a special player and a special mind to be able to do that. That return sails deep and much like the last match we had, Top seed drops game one and then destroys their opponent in game two. Boy, that took a bounce. But I, but also I'm seeing Ben take more middle and countering early with the backhand instead of the forehand. Yeah, taking an extra step even here. Uh, also okay. just flying by. Yeah, I, I mean. Yeah, your, your partner's getting a few more balls. I'm not sure I'd go for a bird, but Al Alshon can do it. Ooh, yeah, had him, wow. had him pretzeled, but uh, Colin Johns uh, getting skinny nicely, turning his body and not giving Julian a big target. Man, just missed him. Oh, no, he did not. <laughs> Julian Arnold gets the paddle clap from CJ. Unbelievable angle. What? This ball was only above the net at the moment it went over it. Otherwise, it was way too low. That's silly. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's a tough one there. Uh, it, it feels like it's such a smart little trick shot, one. but you're so close to the player. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, and it's it's not as if Colin plays aggressively off the line, but he gives Ben a window to slide in front of him if he needs to, so that makes him even tougher to lob straight ahead. I mean, yeah, this is, it's its a little shocking, some of the loose errors. Yeah, not, not, not the offense stuff, the exchanges, the power, you know, whatever, but the, the soft stuff, that is surprising. Because you expect that to be wildly in the favor of the Johns brothers, and it hasn't. No, correct. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's totally true. Uh-oh. 
another one off the tape. The hands are starting to get frustrated. But I will say, that was a bit of respect there for the paddle tap on the great no, shot uh, sure. from Colin yes. to, to, yes. to Julie. And he didn't, he, I was kind of shocked he did it, to be honest. Christian Alshon, that is impressive. It is really hard, as we've discussed, to play when you're seeing one out of 10 balls. And a simultaneous fist pump yell from those two. Only a couple tournaments together, but they're on the same page right now. Yeah, you don't you don't want to say hi twice in a row. And that's what that's that's what Julian did right there. And we're talking H I G A. <laughs> <laughs> What happened there? Was he going to, uh, the paddle face said drop volley, but I wonder if he thought it was going deep and then that was just bizarre. That's the one, he's, he's a great lunger uh, over there when he's stepping to his right on the left side, but just a little shuffle step there would have put himself in better position. Can't miss those easy balls. The other thing that's creeping on the Humana Championship court is shadows. We'll talk about that Six, after four, this rally. Wow, Julian just speeding up cross court all day. So what does the shadow do to you as a player? Well, it kind of messes with your sight lines. And I think the sun is even brighter in the desert. So when it goes from light to dark, it's even more of a contrast here. Man, he is just flying forward, does not care. Right armpit of Colin Johns just flailing backwards on his heels. Julian Arnold, all the gas forward. Okay. That was four squares up from the bottom of the net. Six, six, and it one. is six apiece, and game one is already on the other side. Oh, my. Second oh, don't need it. No. Too small of a window. I understand he's stepping to his right to protect Colin transitioning, but uh, just... You can't hit a clean winner there, and that's what... Yeah, it's, it's six, all six, risk two. and a teeny, teeny bit of reward. Yeah, they're just they're just not seeing it, and I don't think that has anything to do, anything to do with the shadows right now. Just Julian Arnold uh, with the offense, just jamming up the best team in the world. And these returns are so short. Here's another short return. Oh no, Julian! Oh, oh man, that catches. And a paddle clap going back the other way. Now that was to Ben, not CJ. But still, <laughs> that, a couple of these Time saves from server, Julian. So this is interesting. Right. Time in. Six, seven, one. Oh. Second Man, serve. that is not what they talked about <laughs> at all. And it, and it was like a three-quarters drive. Yeah. Six, so seven, it's, it's not like he's peppering that looking to create a shake and bake. Let's see if they go to him again. They do, and Ben says, I'll take it. Bye now. Jeez. So they call timeout to go reset the algorithm, and it is broken. Again, a top seed there for the taking. Oh, the bird. Did he go past center? He must not have. Oh, my gosh, what chaos. Oh, man, she was looking right yeah, down at his feet, right so guess not. Uh, oh, guess she did. missed yeah. one. She yeah, missed she one. Missed the call there. Yeah, it, it worked out in the long run, yeah, though, so, so, got, so all up. good. I just didn't know how he was going to possibly swing and miss in that big frame, have the emergency break uh, thrown. I just love it that that's his answer to not seeing a lot of balls. <laughs> yeah. It's to burst in that's, front of his partner. Who's playing fantastic. Oh, that's pretty. Man, talk about a loose, flexible wrist there. I thought he was going middle, and he just at the last second leads with the palm, and he does it beautifully. This is three just below Six, average seven, points two. since they called timeout on their serve here. Wow. Point. Oh, and all 
Alshon just needs to be calm. Yeah, that. he does. He, he, I don't know what he did. Like, a perfect shot right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a trampoline in the middle of the court? <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Man, kitchen cam. Nice job by the truck. Is that staying in? It is. That one's not. Julian's overhead is unreal. Always has been, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it always will be. Yeah, high-level tennis all over that side of the court. Man, if you want to beat these guys, you cannot have a mess when you get the ball back at seven apiece. That's three in a row that have been subpar. Charges into camera people oh. and referees and that ATP. That's usually the one you want, but it was so oh, low. He couldn't get there. Three points from a huge upset here. Yeah. And just maybe it just was game flow, but Christian seen a few more yes. balls in the last couple Second points. One. Yeah, they've certainly driven some thirds at him as well here, but again, stuck at seven. This is the seven, sixth eight, try to get to eight. Just late coming back over there, and now we've got a couple of snowmen in the desert, eight apiece. You, you got that one in the first game of Thursday, and it, coming back, you know, it's got to be there. <laughs> eight, eight, two. I mean, this is where the opportunity lies, boys. Hands too good. I mean, he, I mean that's an Ernie and a hit well, yes. and Julian's on it because that's coming at you from eight, eight, five one. feet on the other side of the net, not seven. No. That goes deep, and it is nine eight one. Yeah, I think the last number of those three is just as important nine, eight, as one. any of the others. Yeah, I could see that on camera. Took a little funky skid. That is not when you want that to happen. So that third number is obviously now a two, but to Nine, get eight, to two. a match point here, here's the opportunity. Can they execute a third? Oh my. Oh no, and a ball off the tape that sat there so tantalizing. That was not a tough shot. All Sean still development right there. Just the opponent having two timeouts and the Johns having none. So they cannot challenge a call if we would get to a situation like that. Julian speeds it up and CJ says, get that out of here. Great adjustment to switch over from the backhand to the forehand and slap it up the middle. Wow. And it's... Julian ain't scared, speeds it up. And what a spot, too. He's taking 
eight or nine out of 10 up the middle right there. He finds the back shoulder of Ben Johns. Second chance to close out game two. Huge serve, better return. And they get it done. So once again, top seed backed into the corner, fighting their way back all the way, never able to get that 10th point where Arnold and Alshon. And guess what, Adam? We're going to play three. We'll have that third game right after this. Don't you dare miss it. We need someone big. A rapper? No, this person needs more of a saint kind of vibe. Dude, I got it. Super Bowl MVP. Won't be a breeze to get him, but we should go for it. I wouldn't settle for less. So you think you make it on a pro tour? Pro tour? Going pro is in my blood, George. Well, making pros is what we do. Well, let's do this then. Of hours of practice time together. All right, here we go. Boy, both <laughs> John's <laughs> brothers snapped their heads to the side and said, did you see it? Just throws his hands up. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Price, our After video referees, review, here we go, the Mickey. Ruling stands, the ball was in. Challenge lost, timeout lost. You have one timeout remaining. What? Two timeouts remaining. We'll resume play at side out, 0-0-1. one I, I, I don't understand. I mean, that's... Unless there's another angle we didn't see, that was well out. What just happened? Christian Alshon charging behind yeah. Julian Arnold. You know, yeah, we, with second layer of defense. Though. Yeah, we always talk about the single file defense and how it rarely works <laughs> out. <laughs> no, it's not recommended. Sometimes you forget, zero, zero, and again, new partnership, that how athletic your partner is, he's fine. Oh, CJ. Uh-oh, that's staying in. Oh, and he had such a good look at that. It started out as the CJ highlight reel, and yeah. then to dig it and have the mental fortitude to look for the Arnie right after you dug it like that. Nice job. Yeah, Julian gave it the whoop. He thought he had something. I'm not sure if he did, but I mean, he's he been thought doing it. it all match. So, he has. You know, he, he has. Stop. I mean, he destroys overheads. Just a very loose arm from Mr. Arnold. Yeah, because to tie up Ben when he's well behind the baseline, ready to at least throw up another lob. That's impressive. Yeah, I gave it the hop. New. I mean, you can just, these guys are so good. I mean, as it's hitting the paddle or one inch off the paddle, they know. Yeah, nice first volley from Ben Johns. Alshon squeezing the middle. Way to get it inside out and away from the poacher. Yeah, another great eye. I mean, that's three inches out, and Colin was out, 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 calling it right from the beginning. Good eye and good help from Ben's right side buddy. Love it, keep going, nice drive, and I like him, even though he was overextended on that shot, I, I, I want him to move like that. Well, just ignite some more offense, and if that's it, go do it. Oh, 
Oh, that's there's a lot to learn from the ball that CJ just left. He knows anything over his right shoulder in the air cannot stay in and just casually lets that go by. Really impressive. That's three in a row. Yeah, nice play. Looking to be aggressive, which I liked anyway. So uh, really good stuff and clean play early in game three from the Johns. Uh -oh. It happens. It happens. It does. Zero, three, one. Second serve. Yeah, just got deep on him. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, there was one of those when they were up. Zero, three, they two. had nine and a drive sort of caught him. He's, he's made some good leaves, Christian. I mean, it's very easy to swing that big forehand off of that counterattack from Ben, but a nice alle from Christian Alshon. Can't alle on that one, though. It gets <laughs> no. tagged. And I love watching CJ jump out of the way of a ball that didn't go anywhere near him, but he's just, <laughs> he's just ready. Yeah, what a spot there on the right side of Alshon's body. Yeah, that's a great spot from Christian Alshon, spreading Ben out wide and knowing Colin is going to slide yeah. to the right and finding that little bit of court in the middle. Really good stuff. Oh, that's tough. You can't have a better return in first volley from Christian Alshon early in that point. That was like a perfect singles point by Alshon to start that. Smart to just throw a lob way up in the air. I know he's got a great overhead, but that's a tough one to hit. <laughs> Ben's like, no, I'm the one that shakes and bakes by himself, okay? <laughs> the solo shake and bake is probably one of the very few things not really in Colin's arsenal. They can kind of see Colin retreating giving Ben that window to step over, and it cost him on that particular point. I mean, it's, it's tense when Julian goes with the two-hander oh. off the bounce. It is an <laughs> aggressive dink halfway up the net, incredible offensive shot. Anything can happen. It was, it was out, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Ooh, less out than I, I mean, thought. Yeah, Le yeah. Less out than out. I thought, yeah. but out. Uh. <laughs> Colin went with the solo yeah. shake and make yeah. again. He's driving and coming in hot. And then he didn't swing the paddle that time. <laughs> Sort of a miss hit from Julian stays in. Wow. Yeah, you heard somebody in the crowd say nice try, but I, I don't think I'd like to see him try. Well, he, he, well he, he got him once a few points ago. You got to wait a little bit longer to get Ben twice on that shot. Yeah, that's an awesome job after Ben closed the gap in the middle uh, and then to catch him on the left hip again. Julian, all the offense. What is, 
I mean, I, I, I get the first one, but he, he, tr he just tried it again, didn't he? Yeah, and uh, hit the exact same part of the tape and popped it up. It's a great serve. Yeah, Ben knew, it, or Colin knew he was in trouble. And that's beautiful stuff from Colin Johns. If he's more established in better position, he cracks that first volley. He's not in great position. He takes some pace off and neutralizes really good. Chance to switch ends here with a four point lead. And that is exactly what better than losing four and two. So they're, they're, they're building, they're building, yes. Dave. Yes, they are. <laughs> Christian has been very aggressive in anything he sees. He's not seeing a lot, but everything he gets has been fired and it's come right back at him. Second serve. Serve and return misses down significantly today. The less wind is a big factor in that. Nice, Julian. Pushing it over uh, to the right side of Colin's body. You don't see him counter or block with the forehand too much. But that time, the combination straight ahead, then cross court from Julian, a good one. And under control. That's some nice athleticism from a low position from Christian. Out Was that under control for Julian Arnold? Is that, is that what you said, Dave? <laughs> Let's see if that continues. We got, we're at two. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is where a lot of teams would call timeout, and the, the Johns brothers are like, go ahead. That's, that's not happening again. And H I G H again. Yeah, and a nice up the middle from Ben. He, at a very high clip, takes that up the line with his backhand, and he switched it over. I think Alshon was sitting forehand, and Ben found a good spot. And Ben is signaling where he wants this return to go. I, we do not have a camera over there. Oh, we. Not late on the slide that time. And he has been a handful of times in this match, but not when it counts. Class hands from Ben Johns right there. It certainly is. And Christian Alshon pulling triggers at yeah. a variety of locations. Yeah. Maybe a little too yeah. much, Dave. A couple too many for sure. Wow, that didn't bounce. Great pressure. Arnold urging on Alshon. One more stop. Wow. They get a very uh, high third. Ben took off for the angle, and Julian hit it right back where he was. Yeah, and on that previous point, Dave, I know it was well on Christian's side, but I think he's got to get out there yeah. and let, let Julian do his thing, because it was a soft drop. It wasn't a drive. Yeah, just let that left side forehand just go kill it. But he has been antsy. He has. Uh, it's, been, it's been... It's a problem. Yeah, it's been notice, very noticeable. Okay, checked in with Vicki Ryan on that one. I think she got the one at the beginning of this game right too, to be honest. And 
Nope. Yeah, looked wide in real time, Julian. Don't yeah, be think, emotional. Don't be yeah. emotional. Yeah, I think Christian's like, no, Christian's staring right at it. <laughs> it's like. Okay, got to get composed here and make a little run. That is a beautiful athletic maneuver from Christian Alshon. Yeah, great read. Uh, he didn't even really need the athleticism with how well he anticipated yeah. that ball, but the athleticism doesn't hurt. And that one does catch the sideline. He went for that when they were ahead in game number two. This time he makes it. And I said, a lot of risk and a little bit of reward. That's the little bit, Dave. <laughs> Within two now. Oh, inside out, Arnold. Yeah, it was an awkward right spot. Yeah, Arnold went right into the forehand of Ben Johns, but they've been playing high risk and it got them within two in the third. I think they would have signed up for that before this match started. Tom Hawk in the middle. Oh, and then a ball off the tape. CJ's not going to be upset about that. And we are at match point for the Johns brothers. Feet were clean. Yeah, it's uh, one. A little, a little stutter step and a couple small steps to make sure he wasn't in the kitchen. Nice job from Alshon. 10 7 2. And they get this two holds, so here we go. Sean, he's been dinking so consistently though and his drops and his rolls have all been on point. It'd be different if he was making more errors. That, that roll drop is, is nasty, nasty. They're all landing in the kitchen and he's not missing hardly any in the net. Let's see if they return to Arnold here, but that risks the shake and bake. That is out, and they are within one. Oh, I, yes, this is a here nice, again. a nice little run here. And the threat of Christian Alshon forces a mistake. Folks, it is 10 apiece in the third. Can they earn a match point of their own right here? Oh, they cannot. A little mid-court transition ball. They all count, but that's a painful miss right there. That was a very tight return from Alshon and ended up paying dividends. Well, well let's do two varies. Very, very tight, and it worked perfect. Yeah, yeah the, so, some of your worst returns are your best. Man. And Ben Johns cleans up the attack from Julian Arnold. And now they have another chance to move on to Championship Sunday. And that will do it. 
a one seed escapes this entire tournament is in escape room and the one seeds keep getting out i know dave i'm shaking my head in the truck here i just can't believe it happened again but how can you have two better matches than we've just witnessed really good stuff from these athletes so the johns brothers get out the door a couple of warriors right there come up a couple points short we'll talk to the brothers on the other side hey guys uh, today i just wanted to tell you about one of my new favorite accessories it's this chair right here uh, it's made by a brand called click and this thing is amazing um, it's super small folds down about the size of a water bottle uh, it's very easy to set up it takes me about five seconds to put this thing into place and it makes a lot of sense for when I'm out in a place like this. They don't even have benches out here, so I pop my chair down and I'm sitting pretty. Brother, CJ, it did not look good there in game two. You dropped game one, they're up in game two. What was the difference in the turnaround for you guys to be able to pull this one out? Yeah, it was looking pretty grim there in the second game. Neither of us were playing well, uh, really struggling with the conditions. So I think it was really just a matter of resilience, remembering that if we bear down, just scrap out some balls, good things can happen. Uh, and sometimes you just have to win with uh, not your A game. And that was definitely the case today. Oh, Benny boy, things worked out for you one more time. And uh, the end of game two, you guys played some very quality points and you showed a lot of emotion. For someone who's as even keeled as you guys, does that leak over and carry over to game three, or do you just wipe it all clean and start fresh? Uh, it's not something I'd really think about, but I think, uh, you know, if I happen to get, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a little more into it like that, it's certainly a good thing. It gets a little bit of adrenaline going, and, uh, you know, you can't force adrenaline. It's got to happen naturally. So when I do get it naturally, it's always a, a good feeling. I think it did carry over a little bit. But, you know, I had to, I had to let it loose when I played the right side and won the point. I mean, when that happens, <laughs> I, I got to give it something. Right side goat, Ben Johns, that's what they all say. So, uh, CJ, question for you. Everyone knows you study, and we love to talk about the algorithm and how you break down points, but I think a lot of people would love to understand not what you know about players, but how you go about it. Can you give a couple tips to people of how to watch pro pickleball and then learn some things and take that into their game no matter what level they play at? Yeah, if you just keep it really simple, it's really about tendencies and percentages to me uh, to where you're really just trying to diagnose. I mean, we're kind of lucky. We play the same players over and over. A lot of amateur players don't have that where they're just going to see somebody new almost every time. But since we see the top players all the time, you can get a very good feel for which shots they're comfortable with under pressure and which ones they're not. So are they going to miss their forehand more than their backhand under pressure? Um, the X's and O's uh, matter definitely on a tight score line. You want to know what they don't want to hit. Um, and then just studying tendencies on the speed ups you don't have a lot of really time to work with on those so i think it really uh pays to study where people like to attack and which side they like to attack from so if you do those two things i feel like that kind of puts you ahead and you can anticipate better well boys you uh gave us quite another show and the one seeds just keep making their way through so congratulations good luck in the final tomorrow and uh, have yourself a fine night here in phoenix